Hello, class. Good evening. Hello, Rafa. How's everything? Hello, hello. hello. Hey, can you listen to me? I'm here. Yes. Nice. nice. Hey, Daniel. How's it going? Nice, nice. I'm here. <laughs> nice. Nice to hear that. Okay, guys, welcome to our um, session, today's session. It's uh, today is Tuesday, and tomorrow we finish uh, unit number two. And that's going to be week number two as you can see. So uh, it's great to have you connected on time. Thank you so much for your responsibility. Thank you so much for turning on your cameras. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna start today by checking the attendance, being this the first activity that we usually do, okay? So welcome, some, welcome. Uh, I can see Elsie, Narciso, uh, Ray, and JC, and also Harrison. Harrison is just, you know, is there. Uh, okay, great. I can also see Christina, Mardene, and Norma, who don't have their camera on as of now. But I know they will do it, you know, as soon as, uh, I don't know, <laughs> something happened. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let me start. I'm driving, you. teacher. Oh, you're driving. I'm sorry. Yeah. Be careful. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let me start. Check. Guys, today is the 31st of August. Tomorrow is like, uh, uh, what you, you pay one donut, you get two, <laughs> right? <laughs> do you take the do you, do you take advantage? <laughs> do you take advantage of that? Yeah, you go to the Mr. Donuts and you know, stand on the lines for hours for you to get the promotions, or you don't like donuts. Do you think they're gonna have do you think they're going to have the, the promotion or is or maybe not due to this pandemic. I haven't heard anything. I I, I don't say how how to say this in, in English. How to say I'm sorry? Con que no las compro en tiempo normal, menos ahora en promoción va a estar super lleno. I see. Con que that is mi es mi that is that is my reflection. <laughs> I would say I, I don't even buy them on regular what regular right. days, you know. Yeah. So uh, I'm not gonna buy them now. That is going to be what maybe full of people or uh, more complicated. A lot, a, lot, a, a lot of people, a lot of people buying the gun. No. Mm -hmm. no, 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 yes. no, no. Not, not in, this. The, in, the, in, the, in the quality in this month is not the same quality. I, yeah. I, I, I see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, so they lower the quality. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes, because they, the production is more, more done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that affects the quality. Okay. I didn't know that. The only time that I tasted one of one donut was in on September. So I don't know about quality then. <laughs> okay, guys. So thank you so much for turning in. Thank you so much for um connecting. Uh let's see number one on the list, Narciso. Present teacher. Narciso, August Present 30. Teacher. Yeah, yeah, Present. yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> I wanted to say August 31st, Narciso. 31 de agosto, Narciso. Okay, so welcome. Let's see, Christina, Stephanie. Present teacher. She's there. In driving. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Be careful. Be careful. Uh, Daniel is here. I'm here to He's talking to me about promotions. Okay, Elsie. How's it going, Elsie? Present. Thank you. Guys, if by any chance you can't listen to me, please let me know. Uh, it's, it hasn't been easy these days that it's been raining a lot. Connection has been really bad. So I will appreciate if you can tell me, okay? Next one here is Gabriela Guadalupe. No connected. Harrison? Present. Thank you, Jose Miguel. Okay, not connected, Ruben. Not connected, JC. 
present teacher. Thank you, JC. JC, do you take advantage of the promotion this coming month? Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay. Yes, the the prayer three or four day is for but there is is more more is more uh, how do you say most mass more and more but see you <laughs> oh it's, you can say emptier or more you can say emptier like empty as basio but it's, if it is uh competitive so it can be emptier yes okay um, or less people must be emptier 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 uh -huh. okay emptier. or less crowded you can say less crowded like like this less crowd let me say it crowded it means less people less crowded Okay. Mm -hmm. yes, thank you. Okay, uh, so you take advantage of the promotion there. That's good. <laughs> uh, so let's continue. Let me see. Uh, I was going to send you the other word that I didn't send. Okay, I just sent it. Okay, let's see. Next one here is after JC. We have Linda. Linda? Linda? No. Connected. Okay, Maria Idalia. Present. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Maria Julia. No, connected. Okay, next one here. Marlene. Marlene. Marvin. Thank you, Marvin. Present. Oh, he's there. Good, Marvin. Uh, let's see, Norma. Norma? Oh, she's there. Good. Great. Let's see. Rafa. I'm here, uh, teacher. Rafa's here. Yesterday, Rafa abandoned us. Yes, I was. I was very sick. I imagine. For the, the rain. Oh, <laughs> For I the imagine. rain. I imagine. I imagine. No problems. Okay. Remember, you have a percentage of your attendance you can miss, but then you don't have to exceed it, right? So that's the point. And then you can just use it for emergencies or like uh, cases like this, right? You have a percentage of your attendance in which you can miss classes and you are okay. But then try not to miss just because. Right? Then you have to, you know, know which days you, you want to miss. I mean, or you, you have to leave those, um, let's say, um, spaces in case you have emergencies or anything happen, okay? So let's see, Raquel, Judith. Uh, Raquel, Present. Wow. Oh, she's there. Thank you so much, miss. Let's see, let's move on. Uh, Ray. Present teacher. And Ray. Uh, Okay. Try not to miss classes, Ray, please. It's been like a couple of times you've, you've been missing. I know you might be busy. Let me re Ray, okay. Pero, yeah. I approached to say to the Lord that I'm going to go out on Sunday. I'm going to be there for a week in the United States. But I don't think I have any problems to connect me. Pero ya le informé por cualquier cosa, porque a veces se complican las cosas. Ahí aprende inglés, entonces allá nos enseña. A practicar, a practicar. <laughs> yeah, that's good to hear that. We should, we should the best, okay? Um, let's see, Xiomara del Carmen. No, no, Xiomara, connected. And Judy. Judy, no, okay. Teacher, eh, Judy me dijo de que iba a hacer una tarea de la universidad, que por eso se iba a conectar un poquito más tarde. Okay, tell her that we wish the best on her assignment. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know. Well, guys, uh, well, today is, like I said, it's Tuesday, and tomorrow we finish the unit number two. 
which basically means that we are finishing the mid the half of the course okay do not forget that and remember that you have to complete the assignments and also the midterm and maybe examen medio so please if you haven't done it if you if you can um maybe finish all the activities today that would be great because we have to send grades by uh what early on thursday Okay, así que completenlas todas y mañana pues también medio, ¿verdad? Uh, don't forget that, okay? Well, let's see. Let me start by, I uh, want to hear you speak in English today. So let's see. Uh, I want to hear some ideas. Uh, let me share the screen first. Uh, Rafa, do me a favor, Rafa. Read what you see on the screen, this reflection. Can you see it? I'm trying to make it bigger, but it's a little bit slow. Can you see it, Rafa? Yes, sure. Can you read it, please? Read, only read the reflection. Yeah. Only read it, and if you have a uh, word to say, go ahead and say it. To really check out of the patient and bearing desire. Any word that comes to mind, comes to your mind that you want to share? No, I don't understand. You don't understand it. Okay, true learning, el verdadero aprendizaje, true learning takes energy, passion, and a burning desire. What comes to your mind? Uh, let's see, any, any volunteer to help Rafa and to help us understand his reflection? I think that sometimes we have to sacri sacrifice mm -hmm. um, time. Uh, I think that uh, it's... Um, Es sobre lo que a lo que se refiere it takes energy um, because um, sometimes we can rest but uh, we effort for for the drinking yeah I like your reflection Maria Idalia okay yes yeah, sometimes I, I know what does um, burning desire mean. Sure, burning, like burning, burn. When you burn the CD for your music, you burn something. When you uh, uh, are cooking and all of a sudden something happens, you might burn yourself because of something is really hot. So that's burning. Uh, the sunshine can burn your skin, burning desire. But desire is like a wish. But burning means something that is, um, just to give you an idea, it's like when something, uh, it's really, really hot and that causes you damage on your skin, that can be one. But in this specific scenario, burning desire might be something that really moves you forward. Something that is uh, within yourself that, you know, is really big, you, that you, I mean, it's not easy to, to, to handle, to control. So burning literally means uh, quemar, literally. But burning desire means como un deseo um, ardiente, un deseo grande, okay? A burning desire, something big, okay? I don't know if, if that explains a little bit. So in general, guys, if you uh, want to learn something, and that's why I like what Idalia said. She said sacrifice and i know right that is hard to say it and hard to do it okay because if you want to do something yes you have to it takes energy right it takes energy passion as well and of course burning desire um i don't know if there is anybody else uh, because we all understand phrases or reflection in a different way i don't know if you have anything to share 
Anybody else who would like to share any idea, alguna idea, todos tenemos puntos diferentes de vista, different perspectives. Well, what does it tell you? ¿Qué le dice a usted? What does it tell you directly? Agree, disagree, de acuerdo, no está de acuerdo. Okay, do you think that if you want to learn something it is going to be easy and you're not going to waste your energy? Consideran que aprender algo no toma energía, no gasta energía, o si tomaría energía. What do you think? What do you think? Come on. I see. So what do you think? Agree or disagree? Uh, I see uh, what the, what the consider day by day. You consider. Uh -huh. Okay. That is every day, right? I remember one of my professors said one of my professors at the university, she used to say, uh, you have to study every day, she said, at least 15 minutes. So that's what I can tell you guys, I study every day. And I, and, and I like what Nancy to say. And that might take, might take a little bit of energy. Guys, uh, thank you so much. Let's move on because time really goes by really fast. So did you listen to the listening for today? ¿Pueron escuchar el listening? Let me stop sharing. A ver, todos los rostros de ustedes me van a confirmar con un thumbs up. Si logró... Uh, Escuchar el listening. Thumbs up like this. Is your reaction, please? Listening. Marlene did it. Good. Elsie did it. Okay. We have two people. Hmm. Interesting. Los demás no, no tuvieron tiempo de escuchar el listening. Fue difícil. Exactly. The first, the, el Teacher. primero, el primero no funciona, no uh -huh. funcionaba, pero el, el segundo sí funcionaba. No. Uh -huh. Yo intenté en el celular y en la computadora y no pude accesar. Uh -huh. Pude accesar a otra página, pero el mismo uh -huh. manual, menos a eso. I see, yeah, yeah, the first listening didn't open, but the second, the second worked, and that one uh, was a really good one. I liked it. Uh, the ones who did it, Elsie and Marlene, uh, let's see, how much did you get? ¿Cuánto obtuvieron? Three of five. <laughs> three, three out of five. It's okay. Elsie, how much did you get? Two. You got two. Okay. But two is something. It's something, you know. Uh, what else? Let's see. ¿Y los demás qué les pasó? No tuvieron tiempo. ¿Y dale? What happened? Uh, I listened. But I can't uh, answer the question. Okay. So I, I didn't enough. have time. Oh, okay. You, you didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see. And who else listened to them? Rafa, did you have time to, to listen the audios or the conversations? There was, there was just one. ¿Cuánto le tomaría, guys? Elsie, ¿cuánto le tomó usted escucharlo? Responder. 
Five minutes. Dura. Five minutes. No. Alguien está escuchando el, el listening ahorita. Ok, uh, so, voy a estar preguntándole siempre y pues la intención no es bother. ¿Qué significa bother? ¿Qué es bother? Cristina looking gorgeous. Hello, is, teacher. How's it going? What is bother? Do you know what bother is? La intención es molestar, guys. La intención es molestar, sino más bien que se den cuenta que we need that. Que okay, we need that. We need it. Teacher, no necesito tanto tiempo eso. Yo en mi hora de almuerzo lo, lo escucho y respondo. Sí, yo sé, yo sé que tienen que dejar el tiempo. It is necessary. Y no, ya llevamos como tres días, cuatro días quizás. Y ya, ya han pasado al menos cuatro conversaciones, cuatro diálogos. Y dejen un espacio. ¿Ok? Leave some time. That will be necessary. Because uh, it is for you to um, like improve or enhance your listening skills. And if you, if you see that it's too complicated, once again, tenga su list, su cuadernito de listening y vaya escribiendo su vocabulario. O en el manual que se le se tiene. That, that can be good. Okay. Um, let's see. I want to share some uh, questions that I got from the, from the listening. Let me see if I can. No me deja hacer bigger my, my presentation. I don't know what happened. Let me give me a second. Uh, give me a second, please. Okay, I think you guys can see it bigger now. Okay, um, I got this from the listening. Uh, I don't know if you could listen to this. The first one says, will this be for here or to go? ¿Qué entienden de esta frase que dicen? Sale en la conversación. How will you translate this? Will this be for here or to go? No quiere para, para comer a ti o para llevar. Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like it, it, go, go. it in the place or, or go to the home. Or take it home. Yes, exactly. This is the expression that we say it in English, like for Spanish, lo quiere para llevar o para comer aquí, right? So in English is, uh, will this be for here or to go? Exactly. And then uh, copié otras dos estructuras que salen en la, en la conversación porque son parte de la clase de este día. Me gustaría que me ayude a complementarlas. So let's see. Number one. What would you like today? Imaginémonos que está ahorita, uh, estamos ahí at the, at the McDonald's uh, or, or your favorite restaurant. So what would you like today? And, and would you like to try uh, what? So give me your answers. So let's see, let me ask Rafa. Rafa, what would you like today? I am the, way, the waiter, okay? And think or pretend you are at your favorite restaurant. So what would you answer? ¿Qué que respondería? What would you like today? Or what would you like to eat today, Rafa? I would like to eat pizza. Uh, okay. Would you like to try the um, pepperoni one? <laughs> Would you like to try uh, the... Uh, yeah, yeah, pepperoni and cheese. Okay. Or would you like to try the bacon one? The bacon pizza? You don't like that one? Let's see. It's okay, Rafa. If you don't like that one, it's fine. Marlene, what would you like today? Talking about food. I take a, a one junior bacon. Okay. I like that one. <laughs> I like the junior melt. Yeah. Okay. Delicious. No, no, okay. Melt, melt not because I don't like cheese. You don't like cheese? Um, I love mushrooms and that's why I like uh, junior Miles, this is from, from Wendy. Okay, let's see um, who else. Elsie, what would you like today? What would you like to order? What would you like to eat today? Uh, 
Um, one burger. One burger. Mm. Okay. Uh, cheese. Um, the pimios, no sé cómo es que se dice. I think it's, I think it's pepper, but I'm not sure. There must be a name for that. Don't remember. Okay. Um, esas, esas preguntas, guys, salen en la, en la conversación que ustedes tendrían que haber escuchado. Son, son posibles. What would you like today? Uh, would, you, would you care for anything else? ¿Le gustaría algo más o le importaría algo más? So that's in the conversation. And then if you don't know what it means, then you might want to write it down. You know, that's part of the process, okay? So please do so. And I got this phrase. Les, les tomé esta frase, the number four. Uh, me gusta y es bien útil. You got to be kidding. You got to be kidding. Because if, what, how do you say that in Spanish? Yeah. Who knows the, uh, the meaning of this? You got to be kidding. Ahí sale en la conversación. What is it? Debe de estar bromeando. Exactly. En la conversación sale cuando le dice, este, le hace la, la oferta. You, you got to be kidding. No te creo. You, you, you got to be kidding. Debe de estar bromeando. No, está cobrando 10 dólares por una hamburguesa. No le, no le cree, no le cree. You got to be kidding. Cuando ustedes me digan que no he escuchado el listen, le voy a decir, you got to be kidding, guys. You got to be kidding. Ok. Eh, escuchen los listening. No sé qué tengo que hacer. Solo dos nada más este, lo hacen. De repente los demás no lo hacen. I don't know. What should I do? You need to... You need to understand, you have to understand that is necessary, okay? It is necessary. I'm going to be like telling you this all, all, cuando todos me levanten el thumbs up y me digan, we did it, it's easier. Hacemos grupos y discutimos. Mira, yo aprendí eso, compañero, yo aprendí lo otro. Ahorita, ¿cómo lo mandan los grupos? Si en realidad no han hecho, no lo han, no lo han, o sea, no tienen el vocabulario listo que han aprendido. We have to help each other, pero necesitamos el listening. I'm really sorry si eso les, les incomoda, but I think you guys have to, you know, um, understand the, this point. Listening is essential. Más nosotros que no tenemos el exposure así en el, en donde se habla el idioma, we need this. En el caso de las personas que están expuestas en el idioma, en el lenguaje, en el entorno, uh, it's different because you have this input. But we don't have it, I'm sorry. Bueno, uh, I'm going to continue. Uh, tomorrow we'll be checking on the next listening. Ya lo vamos a ver cuál es. Ok, uh, veamos de esto rapidito. Mándeme un, al, al chat un ejemplo de may or might donde expresa posibilidad. Please, everybody, start sending one in the chat. I give you one minute. Estamos a 13. 13, entonces 13 preguntas o tengo que ver o statements. En el chat. Okay. Mandémoslas de manera este, general para todos. Tenemos la primera de María y Dalia. Uh, possibility. Veamos. Let's see. It might rain tomorrow. Okay. I like it. It's a possibility, right? We don't know. We're not sure. Okay. Tenemos la de Daniel. I made, I made a good... Mm, something is missing, Daniel. After May, ponemos el verbo. I may, I may what? What is missing there? Tenemos dos. Faltan, faltan 11 ejemplos. Hurry up, guys, please. Create your ideas. It's fun. Daniel. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I have some other. Uh, let's see. Um, ya hizo Daniel la corrección, ¿verdad? I may have. Eso está bien. Uh, Rafa, I may be the best student in the class. Okay, possibilities. And I like that attitude. I might eat pizza tomorrow. I might visit my family next Sunday. Uh, may, maybe, maybe missing a third. Falta JC, ahí le falta el subject a esa. El subject. Uh, I may go to the movies tomorrow. I may have, yes, yes. Okay, I may have perfect note in my test. Eh, para decir nota, Marlene, si dice grade, se escribe grade, grade. Uh, note es para las notas, notas rápidas. He might not use this service, está correcto. She might play soccer on Saturday, yes, it's correct. And she might come here if you want, yes. So, son posibilidades. Ahora veamos una de permission, guys. Mándeme una permission, otra vez un minuto más. Permission or request. Ya es más en sentido de question. Permission or request. Veamos. She might come here if you want. Okay, now permission. Permission, permission or request. Permission or request? May I go out? <laughs> May I go log out the Zoom? May I log out from the class? <laughs> no, no, you may not. Okay. Uh, what else? Permissions or request? You may do the report. Hagámosle en forma de, 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 de request. Un request es más como una solicitud a alguien más. Eh, la puedo hacer de mí, pero a, a alguien se la tengo que solicitar. May I go to, the, may I go to my bed? Yeah, ok, I like that one. Ok, Marlene ya se queda ahí acostada. Es así, se los desconecta y se duele. Ok, um, so may I go. Permissions or requests. If I am pensando in one suggestion, give me a suggestion. Give, give your classmate a suggestion. Give uh, somebody a suggestion. May I come in there, teacher? Yes, may I come in? Okay, may I? It's missing the I, uh, Rafa. Suggestion, suggest something. Suggest something, please. Veo algunos que no están mandando sus ejemplos. I, I don't know if, si es porque no entienden o no quieren participar. May I arrive late tomorrow? Mm -hmm, that's okay. What about suggestions? Suggest something. Suggest something, please. May I have, may I have, may I have fresh next sun, may I have, may I have fresh next sun, next weekend. Mm, what, what do you want to say, Marlene? Puedo tener descanso. May I have a day off, maybe. A day off next sun, next weekend. A day off, un día libre. May I have the day, ahí alguien nos puso, may I have the day off, ahí tenemos uno. Let's see, may I have the day off tomorrow for my birthday? Esa está buena. <clears throat> Good. We will not see the fire. Um, this is may or might, Rey. Es may or might, son los modales. It will, no, no, no es eso. Es may or might, que son, indican posibilidades, suggestions, eso. Hay una diferencia entre will y may. Ajá. Es la probabilidad. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, because if it's will, that changes everything. But then if it is made, that is okay. May you give me this book, please? Okay, okay. What about wishes? Alguien que me mande un wish que dijimos ayer, ¿cuál usamos para wish? Wish? What, what, what is the one? Había uno que se puso para wish, decíamos. What's that one? Send me a wish or wish something to your classmate, please.
I want to read at least one wish. I haven't read any anything yet. If you wish. Mm -hmm. May. Yeah, that's the one. May God bless you, right? Italian. May God bless you. May what? For Christmas, what do you say? When you have somebody's birthday, what do you say? Yes, yes, that's example I gave you. But then in, in general, like wishes in general. Uh, wishes plural, teacher. Not, not necessarily. Yeah, wishes is plural, but or then you can say only polite. Polite. wish is like, it's un deseo para alguien. Well, mm -hmm. if you wish, mm -hmm. if you wish, uh, if you wish, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. May, uh, uh, it won't, it won't translate. It won't translate, okay? It might say K, for example, may you have a good day. May you have a great rest of the day. May uh, you, what? May this be something nice for you? I don't know. It's like, it's in general. As long as it is a wish, you can follow the structure, okay? Mm -hmm. We may celebrate your birthday next month. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, uh, Maria Idalia. That would be like, Sounds like a possibility. We may celebrate your birthday next month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other wish with uh, May that you can think about? For a wish, we also can use, uh, right? We only use may, we do not use might if we are talking about this, only may, mm -hmm. only may. Have you, have you heard this one? Uh, let me, this is, a, this is may, may your dreams come true. Have you heard this one? I just, may your dreams come true. That's another very popular one. May uh, your days be full of blessings. May your entire life be successful. Okay. Oh, uh, I think there's a mistake on successful. Successful. This is the one. Hey, uh I'm sorry. Uh, I I need to ask something. Yeah, tell me. For wishes, we only uh, use um, may. May yes, for wishes. We can use uh, might. No, no, you don't use might for wishes. Only may. I have never okay. heard any wish with might. It won't make sense. It sounds really weird, actually. I may not be <laughs> an narcissist. I mean, this is a what? This is a possibility. I may not be your Superman. Okay. May many blessings come, come your way. I like that one. Who sent that one? Let me see. Oh, Elsie. May... Many blessings come your way. I like it. Yeah, I like it. May I help you? It's not, that one sounds like a, like um, maybe permission to help, right? May I help you? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, guys, yeah, it's sound like that. That's basically uh, what we studied yesterday. And yesterday we left something pending. Do you remember what, what this is? What we left pending? Yesterday, yesterday we said that we were going to create one conversation and I want to um, 
do it. Y let me see, give me a second. I want to share my, where is it? Okay. Where is it? Here it is. No, this is not. Okay. Give me a second, please. I'm gonna give you maybe the most like 10 minutes for you to prepare and let's create one conversation which we couldn't finish yesterday. And this is how to use or using a may and might. And we're gonna work on this in pairs. And this is what I said we were going to do today. Okay, uh, create a conversation where you are a dissatisfied um, customer, okay? That you are dissatisfied with a product and that you will say what you might or may do about it, okay? This is a pair work activity. Es un trabajo en, en, en pareja y vamos a crear la conversation, okay? We had one, tuvimos uno similar uh, previously. You can get some ideas from that, okay? Uh, let's not take uh, this time, let's make it fast and um, just go ahead and complete the ideas for you to share with the whole class. Así que le voy a poner en, en, en parejas y crean su conversación. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta antes de que, les, que, que creamos los grupos, de, perdón, las parejas de lo que van a hacer. Before I send you guys to the breakout rooms, any questions? Es una conversación, right? If you have questions. Uh, uh -huh. In this conversation, we use only may and mean. And might, ajá. Uh -huh. Might, eh, yeah. Eh, sí, van a crear la conversación como la donde uno de ustedes va a estar eh, insatisfecho con un producto y va a decir qué va a hacer con ese producto. Por ejemplo, uh, no sé, pedir garantía, podría ser que, que lo retorne o no sé, o, o podría ser que haga un, un reclamo o pida un reembolso, I don't know, you, eso, eso es lo que usted va a decidir, ¿ok? Y lo puede decir en la, en la conversación, ¿ok? La conversación okay, podría you. ser entre un cliente satisfecho y una persona, no necesariamente un agente, ¿ok? No, no necesariamente, ¿ok? Uh, so here we go, let me... Uh, Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. Let's see, estamos. Un grupo va a quedar de, de tres.
ayo. Ajá. Vamos, Tali, ayo. Yo sería quien eh, reciba tu queja en principio. Luego, eh, obviamente tú eres el cliente ah. y Miguel sería el supervisor de taller. El supervisor del jefe. Uh -huh. Ok, sería. Yo quiero diría, motorcycle. I might change my motorcycle. Eh, pues sí, que, que me den una nueva, <laughs> estoy a cambiar, que me den una nueva. I don't want to dice, the motorcycle, le dicen. Sí, puedes decir eso. O se dice que te den una nueva, obviamente es como que. Ah, digamos cambiar. Que... I, can... I might, I might, podría, I might change mm. the motorcycle. A ver. I might say the motorcycle. Así, digamos, una pregunta. Man. My motorcycle. Ok. Vamos a ver. Ahora estamos tratando de crear una. Sí. Va, digamos, si yo le dije, I may change the motorcycle. Y usted, al que me va a traer, va a decir, este, ¿qué es el problema? O why, por qué. O cuánta, cómo. Mm. Sí, primeramente, eh, ¿cuántos días tiene que haber? O sea, si la moto está nueva o... Eh, o no, ¿verdad? Eso para saber si cuántos no, días antes de haberlas comprado. No, I was by yesterday in the morning. I was by yesterday in the morning. Yes, sir. In theory, it's, it's new. Mm. Theory, I think. En teoría, pienso que no es. Como ya había molesto. Okay. Michael, le puedo poner, ¿verdad? We might go. No, porque es una posibilidad. Sí, vea. We might go. Nos vamos. We might go. Entonces, hasta el momento sería, excuse me, have you seen our waiter? We have been sitting here for almost 10 minutes. We can give him five more minutes and then we might go. Yes. 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 Uh, me you, me, yes. Uh, see. See. Uh, give me. Give me. Give uh, me. Number. Number. Uh, or or give me the ID. Uh, number of the, the, the factura. Number of the, the compra or the compra. Uh. Inbound number inbound for the or purchase order. See that? Order. Please.
Esa sería la misma en la, en la respuesta de. Ajá, la del cliente. Uh -huh. Any large? Le teléfono a mi señora pensando que era el de ella y era el mío. Y, lo y, ella, y ella se ponía a reír. Que ella tenía su teléfono y era el mío. Entonces no hago eso. Ay, no. Qué mala experiencia.
Marlene, did you finish? <laughs> no. More or less. More or less. <laughs> More or less. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what you did. Okay. So um, let's wait for the other ones to join us. They're just on the way. They're coming. People are just coming. Did you finish? Was it like a lot of time? Was it little time? Okay, you will tell me, okay? So, um, Narciso finished. Were you able to finish? JC, did you finish? No, did you? <laughs> you didn't finish. Uh, okay, all right. So we'll we'll see what we can do later. I need to check the attendance, guys. I know it's already uh, nine or two, so let me check the attendance. Okay, number one, Narciso. Present picture. Thank you. Uh, number two, uh, Christina. Present. Thank you. Number three, Daniel. Present picture. Thank you, Elsie. Thank you, Gabriela Guadalupe. Harrison. Present. Thank you. Jose Miguel. Present. Thank you. You're here. Thank you. Uh, Ruben. Not in here. Okay. Next one, JC. Present. Thank Present. you. Next one, Linda. No, okay. Maria Idalia. Present. Thank you so much. Next one, Maria Julia. Nope, okay. Uh, Marlene Nicole. Present. Thank you. Uh, Marvin Omar. Present. Okay. Thank you. Norma Carolina. Present. Thank you, Miss. Rafa. I'm here, Richard. Good. Uh, Raquel Judith. Present. Teacher. Thank you. Ray. Thank you, Xiomara. Judy. All right. Thank you so much, Judy. Okay, guys. Uh, now, let's see who finished. Please uh, use the reactions. And with the reactions, show me a, a thumbs up if you finished. Nobody finished. I don't see, oh, Daniel finished. Who else? Only, okay, Judy finished. Who else finished? Elsie, did you finish? Solo vi dos reactions, oh, Marlene D. Solo vi tres reactions, los demás still in progress. Yes? Ok, uh, vamos a escuchar las que, las que están terminadas y las que no, lo que tengan van a compartir, ok, because uh, we need to move on. So, uh, we start, Daniel, would you be so kind as to share with us, please, your uh, conversation? Ok, take care, my conversation is with Yuri. Ok. Hello, Yuri, how are you? Hello, Daniel. I do. I, I could. And you? Oh, a little angry. Why? I bought a cell phone a month ago. It doesn't work. I'm not satisfied with the quality. How long is the warranty? Yes, the warranty is three months. You may ask a refund. What did you buy? 
Um, I'm by um, Laura Compton. Tell her they do not get good service. Okay, thank you. Thank you for mentioning, Yuri. Okay, see you later. See you later. Bye. Okay. ok, thank you so much care. Thank you, guys, he apagado mi cámara Porque los, todos los tengo congelados Ahorita Y creo que yo soy el que está congelado en sí. Ok, uh, I like it I like it, hablando mal de claro Estamos aquí, pero I like it Y sí, de hecho, mi, mi internet es claro Y miren um, Ok, so that's a good one <laughs> Daniel, that's a good one Thank you, Judy, for the uh, For the great um, Contribution, and thank you, Daniel For the ideas uh, So let's listen to the next, next ones uh, Marlene, please, your turn Okay. I don't know if it's correct, but here we go. Right? Yeah. Our customer. Hi, how can I help you? Hello. The past week I bought my cell phone is it is not working more. I may check the warranty of this product. What does the warranty include? Uh, factory fault and first we need to check it and then we call you about the problem. If the if the warranty does not May you use I for this? We made that repair turn and may we we may help with okay. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Ok, thank you. No sé si me escuchan bien, yo los escuché un poquito cortados, pero creo que es mi conexión. Um, thank you for the ideas. No lo quite todavía, Marlene. Uh, me gustaría nada más hacer una pequeña uh -huh. observación uh, donde dice factory fault. Uh, eh, what do you mean with that? ¿Qué quieren decir con factory fault? Como efectos de fábrica. Uh -huh. Dejémoslo como factory issues. Factory issues uh, is I uh, S S U E S. Factory issues. I first, S -S first letter is an I issue. Factory issues. Factory. I S S. Yeah, sure, for sure. And then el otro donde dicen I solve. Ajá, es. Ajá, es. Issue. Ajá, uh -huh, e -S. S -S. Like that, and then E S. Yes. Mm -hmm. I said in the on the chat. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And como problemas de fábrica, de factory, de fabric, factory issues, eso es lo mejor. Uh, donde dice solve me, es dejémoslo help me. Yo sé que solve es solventar, pero más un, eh, porque le ponemos me, suena más como may you help me with that, may you or help me. I would say help me with something. No solve me, solve me más como un, un problema, pero no tanto hacia, es un problema que solucionar, pero no tanto hacia mí. En, el, en realidad, el verbo apropiado sería help me with something, así como está, yes okay. uh, y lo demás is really good, I like it, the way it is ok, mm -hmm. um, perdón, ya lo quito donde dice is no. not working more pongámosle anymore anymore cuando le ponemos anymore, is not working mm -hmm. any, anymore ese anymore lo vamos a usar siempre cuando queremos hacer una negación más puntual o más con más énfasis anymore anymore okay okay, okay. Uh, 
So okay, thank thank you so much for for you know your, your conversation. Now, uh, who wants to do it? Who wants to go next? De lo que faltan, guys. Who wants to do it next? Thank you. We want to start. Thank you, Idalia. Uh, go ahead, please. Okay. Um. Excuse me. Have you seen our waiter? We have seen him for almost thirty minutes. We can give him five more minutes, and then we might go. Excuse me, sir. Uh, can I take order? Yes, please. I want a large pizza, peroni and mushrooms on one half, and ham on the other. And what drink comes with the pizza? It will be free. You order in blue soda. I read you order. You want a large pizza with pepperoni and mushroom on one half and hand of the other. It's right. Please, maybe punctual with my order. Finished it. Good, good. Thank you so much, Maria Idalia. And thank you so much for creating these ideas, girls. I like this scenario. I like it. Um, I don't know. Can you listen to me, Idalia? Me escucha bien? Yes? Or is it yes. like interference? Okay. Yeah, I like the scenario you guys chose. Me gusta el escenario que eligieron porque es, eh, permite hacer uso del, del may y el might de una manera adecuada por la, el escenario. Así que I like it and thank you for, for preparing this conversation. Okay. And there's, there are no observations to give. One more uh, participation, guys. Anybody else? One more, please. One more. No more participations. Okay. Um, I would love to listen to one more, and I know some of you haven't participated. Me encantaría escuchar una más, pero sé y sé que algunos no han participado. So, who wants to do it next? Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh, Rafa, Miguel, y... okay, thank you. Okay, thanks for calling a uh, Yamaha El Salvador. El secret to you, how can I help you? Hey, good morning, Elsie. I might change my motorcycle. Tell me why, because my motorcycle is broken. When did you buy your uh, motorcycle? I was by yesterday in the morning. Um, sure. Uh, allow me a moment online. I will forward the call to the shop supervisor. Yes, that's good. I was here online. Thank you for for waiting moment online. I may help you. Yes, I need to change my Michael. Oh, okay. And um, I will pick it up at the. It's broken. No, no, stop. Yeah. I know it was not going to work. Yes, my mother is a mariposa. Yes, man. That's it. What was <risa> ya <se me> <risa> Fíjense que yo estoy tratando de tratando tratando de seguir la, la, la conversación 
Y, I don't know, ¿qué pero, pasó pero con las mariposas? Se, se perdió. <ríe> <laughs> oh, the butterflies are lost. Okay. Um, no problem. So let's start. Uh -huh. So let's, let's do it again, please. Uh, una mariposa aquí también en mi cuarto. No sé si hablaban de mí o qué. <risa> Por no. eso que no, adivinamos. No pasó nada. Adivinamos. No pasó nada. Oye. Es que mi perrita se la quería comer por eso. Por telepatía. Sí, la oye. perrita es mi amor, entonces. <risa> We are wise. Ok. Uh, go ahead, please. Start again. Ya terminamos, teacher. Eh, olvidate, teacher. Ah, sí, es que yo... Ahí terminamos, mi amor. Es que no lo, no lo pudimos terminar, nos, nos sacaron. Y yo me salté una parte. Mm, ok, Carapita. ok. Carapita. Se saltaron, o sea que hoy fue una conversación así bien improvised. Ok, uh, well, les quería comentar, no sé si... Es, eh, bueno, ojalá me escuchen bien, porque la verdad se me... Todos tengo frisado, no sé qué pues, sucede. Yes. Uh, uh, cuando dijo Elsie al principio, greets you, y sé que lo, lo, lo que en español a veces se dice es, es Elsie te saluda, ¿verdad? Se dijo Elsie greets you. Yeah. No es tan común en inglés decirlo de esa manera. Puede ser, podría ser Elsie speaking, o um, dice good morning, uh, oh. this is Elsie, how can I help you? ¿Sí? Entonces hay que quitar greets. Yo sé que greet es saludar, pero en sí el hecho de decir good morning ya está saludando. Entonces vamos a decir good morning. I, um, this is Elsie or Elsie is speaking. How may I help you? Or what can I do for you today? Ok, así. Y lo otro, Rafa, usted dijo I was by. Yo creo que quería decir que compró, ¿verdad? No se olvide. Ayer que... la compré. Ajá, de un solo es presente. Ese, ese es el tiempo pasado simple. Decimos I bought de un solo. No, I was by. Uh -huh. I, I bought. bought. Porque ah, I was okay. by no, no es yo estuve a comprar, sería. No, it doesn't make sense. So, uh, uh -huh, es I was by. Okay, I, I was. Y si quiere decir I was by, sería I was buying. Pero eso es que estaba comprando. It's a different context. Uh, uh -huh. okay. Uh, okay. Well, guys, that's the only observation. Um, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta. Any question before we move on? O alguna, algún comentario. Estamos bien con, no. con las mariposas, no hay mariposas en el estómago. No butterfly. Sí. The world is flying. No, ok. All right. Ahí es una última cena. No. Ok. Um, so, vamos, uh, we're going to work on this. We have an online uh, refund format. Ok. Uh, when do you ask for refund? When do you ask for refund? Have you ever asked for refund? ¿Han pedido algún reembolso ustedes? By any chance? No, never. I have done it. Yo sí lo he hecho. Oh, <laughs> Especially wow. when the service doesn't work. I do it. <laughs> okay. Um, or maybe unauthorized purchases. Eso es bien común. De repente le parece charge in your credit card le, or, or debit card le aparece ahí un, una purchase online, una compra de aplicaciones or games. No les ha pasado eso. Eh, by mistake, you subscribe. Y de repente next month le aparece otra vez el cargo. Ok. So refunds. What is a refund? With refund, well, we have Peter. here. Uh -huh. Excuse me. I, I just want to tell you... Um... Sometimes uh, we at the hotel, we have to um, uh, contact to the bank uh, to, para solicitar to request. a refund to our guest. And why because do you do that? Because we make a, a, a pre-authorization retention fund. Mm -hmm. Um, for warranty uh, to, to make a reservation. Mm -hmm. But the bank um, libera el fondo como en ocho, ocho días, quince días o un mes. Release the, pay, release the charge. Uh -huh. Libera es release, release the charge within eight days. 
Ah, okay. And so it's not automatically that is refunded. It takes that time. We make we make a automatic auto uh, automatic automatic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we make that automatic, yeah. but the bank uh se tarda. El, el banco se ta, the bank takes or the bank yeah the bank takes si dice cuánto tiempo takes uh -huh. so you release or you do it automatically but the bank takes eight days to refund right does it make sense como ustedes lo hacen automático pero el banco se toma ese tiempo para dar el reembolso yes uh, so that would be uh, we release the money automatically, but the bank takes eight days. Eso es, eso es común, la verdad. Siempre cuando ustedes le dan refund y el banco siempre, it takes take time, right? To update in the system para actualizarse. And that's, the money is holding. Ahí está como in holding, uh, in, in hold. Yes, okay. Well, guys, thank you for sharing that experience, Idalia. I like it. That's how this is enriched. Así como saying, we, you know, share our experiences in practice. What we what we are seeing here is just a format. It's a form. And of course, this is just a form. There might be other formats for you to make refunds requests. This one, uh, it has a specific, um, let's say, structure. And we can read it. I don't know if I have a volunteer to read it. One volunteer to read this. Maybe the first part we have here in blank. Uh, let's see if we don't have volunteers or do we have volunteers to read? Thank you. Thank you, Dale. First part. Okay. Um, sender's name and address. What are lost ink? Travers Inc. 23. Glenway, San Carlos, um, Centro, C8, 0570. Good, thank you, good one. Okay, what it looks in, and read the note, Ra Rafa, please. Number one, two, and three. So, uh... Please note water lacks. Customer satisfaction warranty is 90 days from date of purchase. And number two, retain a copy of your record and class the original with the merchandise. And number three, use one life per item. All quantity are to be retained. In each case, all items returned will require the original under number recorded on the board, so credit card can be processed. Cool. Processed. Processed. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Rafa. That was good. Really good. Really good uh, pronunciation. I wanted to say, uh, item. Item. So one is use one life per item. Item. That was the only word. And then processed. Item. Okay. Item. Yes, it's not eating. It's item. Well, thank you so much. Now we okay. have some details. Let's talk details. Recent code. This is the recent code. It's just you know a code that they made up. It's they also like inventar esa manera. Aquí tenemos la lectura. Tenemos A. It stands for adverse event. D is dissatisfaction. PP, which stands for product performance. Item number, this is a number that they know what it is. The company knows what it is. Quantity is the amount, date of purchase, the date, order number, and the reason, the relevant reason, which is in this case is missing part. This is just a format, okay? Uh, so now let's answer these two questions. What are the reasons the customer wants a refund? What is the reason? What do you think? The reasons according to the missing, code here? Missing part. Missing part, okay. That would be the main reason, right? It's not complete, it's incomplete uh, product, okay? 
and yeah, that would be the big one. And then what about number two? Would the customer get a refund? What do you think and why? What do you think, guys? Would the customer get a refund? And why? According to what you can see, do you think can, that the customer is likely to get a refund or not on this scenario? Yes. Can you explain why? Mm, because it, he paid for all products and not it's complete. I like that point of view. So if the customer paid the entire order, He's uh, right, he deserves, he, he has a right to get the, the money back, right? The money he paid in case something is missing. Okay, I like that explanation. Is there any other idea? Any other idea? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, because the product is broke. I, I want a, a refund. Yeah, that's another scenario. If the if the product is broken, yes, you uh, you deserve right to get a refund. That's another possible uh, scenario. Yes, that's all also accepted. Thank you so much, guys. We have here one conversation, and this is what you need to do. Okay, and uh, maybe today or tomorrow you can listen to the conversation. It's probable that the first listening doesn't work, but we have the second one, which is the page we have already you know checked. So maybe this one will work. So please test it, do it and complete it. This one, the first one might not work. Well, I can know, funcione. Uh, but then uh, you have the second one to uh, check your knowledge, okay? That's for tomorrow. I will be asking what you learn, if you learn anything new on this, okay? Uh, now let's finish this um, class with this topic, which is really cool. And I think we have already practiced this, but if it is new, then no worries, we can uh, get to understand this topic. How to use wood, wood, and we have another uh, derivation of this, which is would like to, okay? And how do we use this? That's the big question. The, the answer is very simple because uh, we use wood and then after wood, we have to use the base form of the verb. For example, I would change this product. After this, we say the base form without the two, no ponemos two. So I do not say I would to change. No, that's a mistake. We say the wood and right after this, we say the verb, like in the base form. ¿Cómo pronunciamos esta palabra? Este, este es un modal, este es un modal verb. También lo, lo vamos a decir wood, así, wood. Como que si no existiera la O y la L, wood. Would I would change this product. Uh, he would buy there again. Again, uh, he wouldn't stay. Si es negative, wouldn't stay, wouldn't stay, wouldn't, wouldn't. Y si es una pregunta, hacemos el switch, ¿verdad? Primero es el would y luego el subject. Esa es una inversión que se hace para la pregunta. Creo que en su momento hemos, ya manejamos ese término, que si fuera esa question, auxiliars or modals, we switch it, switch positions. Algo más que iba a mencionar, uh, would does not have any, um, what, any, um, let's say, or another form for specific subjects. Would applies for all the subjects. No tenemos would uh, como un derivado para, para she or he. It's like for all subjects, like the way it is here. Okay. Y el would like to es que es una, una forma ya compuesta. ¿Por qué la separan? Porque el would like to, el to is mandatory. Siempre va a ir ahí. Porque after the would like, el, el verbo lo vamos a poner con to. 
siempre. Would like, por ejemplo, would like to change, would like to buy, would like to come, would like to get, ¿ok? After would like to, el verbo que viene es, es en su forma base, pero después de like va el to. O sea que siempre would like to go, would like to buy, would like to play, would like to eat, would like to... Um, Go, come, clean, etc., etc., ¿ok? Um, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta del uso del would y el would like. Eh, yo aprendí eh, que el would me convierte el verbo en ia, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si le pongo I would change, yo cambiaría. I would buy, yo compraría. I wouldn't stay, yo no me estaría, yo no es permanecería. Would you give me? Me darías, would you give me? Uh, okay, so basically the would changes the verb or affects the verb into ia ending in Spanish. Me gustaría, I would like. Me gustaría, I would like to. Me gustaría que me manden unos ejemplos. I would like you to send me some examples. Okay, entonces me mandan unos ejemplos, guys, de esto. O alguna pregunta del, del would like to and would. Veamos algo que le gustaría hacer, eh, quizás on vacations. Send me your ex, uh, like one or two uh, sentences or simply open your mic and talk to me, please. I would like to visit the mountain. Okay, sounds good. Interesting, natural, right? The nature. Okay, what else? Tenemos un ejemplo. I, mm -hmm. I would like to learn English very well. Sounds good. Thank you so much. What else? Open your mic, please. I would like to eat right now. <laughs> that sound that sounded like a real, Me real. Too. I would, Me too. I would like to eat right now. What would you like to eat? Uh, I don't know. Where? Okay, you don't know. <laughs> mm, okay. Hamburger. Hamburgers. Wow, but this late, I don't think it's good to eat a hamburger. Yes. At this time. <laughs> wow. What do you prefer? <laughs> Only today, and then tomorrow, <laughs> and then the next day. Okay. I I I, I would like it to push us. Uh, okay, I would like to. What else? Open your mic, please. See, I'm uh, bringing down your example, please. More examples, please. More examples. I I will travel to. I will travel. I will travel to Madrid. Podemos say I would like to también. I would like to travel to Holland, okay, Holland. Okay, um, what else? Other examples? You know, the mass, yeah. What would you I like would, to do? I would, I would like to run very fast. That's <laughs> no, that's no, it's my, it's my ad. <laughs> how many, how many, I don't know how you measure Ooh. this. Rafa, I don't know how you measure, no sé cómo lo miden, but then how many uh, meters or kilometers do you Lumber. run per, per minute? Oh. How Lumber. many Lumber. do you run per hour? Uh, per hour, I'm uh, for um, 20, 21st, 21st kilometer. 21. Wow, man, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. My goodness. I wouldn't be able to, I, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to run that. I may be, maybe the yeah. most five, five. Uh -huh, five. I was thinking about five, the <laughs> most. <laughs> five. Oh no, five. you have exercise. I no? would like to be a cold joven, place uh, when I was younger. <laughs> I would like to make an order. Okay, Narciso, what would you like to order, Narciso? What would you like to order? <laughs> okay, 
I would like to make an order. I would like to file a claim. I would like to find a claim. Okay, um, so let's let's complete this statement and completemos estas preguntas, estos, uh, estas oraciones, statement. Vamos a uh, complete the statements or questions. Use general information, use general information, your information as you please. When you finish, please let me know. I'll appreciate that. Okay, let's take one more minute and we are going to start sharing our ideas, okay? Rafa, Narciso, Ray, did you finish? Mm, I'll finish. Okay. I'll finish okay. Yet. All right. Take one more minute. Okay. Chair, I have an observation. Yeah, please let it flow. And the number five. Mm -hmm. Say, she warned. <laughs> uh, she say, won't, won't, <laughs> will not. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not, right. Not, okay. Yeah, correct. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And the, and the, 
and the number six work moving yeah. ¿Qué onda ahí con ¿Qué onda ahí con los mistakes man? Ah. <laughs> okay. it's wood. yeah it's wood, wood. Like wood. Is complicated mistake <laughs> it's wood exactly it's wood thank you for the observation hmm. Hmm. yeah you're right let's finish it please is wood, not world. Okay, so let's start sharing. Let's see what you have, guys. Number one, I would like to, let's see, more ideas. Uh, those who haven't participated, please tell me, what would you like to do? I would one? like to, my teacher. Yeah, please, go. I would like to visit my sister. Nice, okay. Yeah. So you don't see yes, your sister like. often? Uh, my sister. She's in Spain. Oh, she's in Spain. Nice, I imagine. Okay. Other ideas. Thank you for sharing, JC. I would like to jump from a parachute. Yeah, sounds interesting. That is extreme. Yeah. Yes. I wouldn't like to do that. No. Okay. Why? I, I don't know. I think it's risky. I, I'm not, I don't love the extreme sports. Other ideas, other ideas. Other ideas, guys, more ideas. You don't wanna share, come on. What about number two? What do you have? Number two, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't what? Uh, I I I wrote uh, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't like to come back there. Okay, nice, makes sense. Thank you. How mm. about number three? What do you have? Would she what? Would she? Would she like to sleep on the floor? <laughs> With me, ah, say. Yeah. <laughs> would she like to sleep on the ah. floor with me? <laughs> Only <Okay>. tonight. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> what else? Any other example? I, I'm at night. <laughs> All the night long. Okay. Other ideas, guys? What about number four? What about number five? Open your mic, please. please. Uh huh. Please go ahead. Four. Hmm? Mm -hmm. We would like to plan your vacation to Europe. Okay, we would like to plan your vacation to Europe. Okay, yeah, sounds good. We would like to talk full English. <laughs> we would like to talk full and fluent English, right? Yeah, we can do it. I know we can do it. It's, it's a, it, this is a dream that will come true. I, I'm very sure about this. And it's just a matter of discipline and, you know, really like a burning desire. Remember this, a burning desire to go for it. How about number five? She wouldn't, she wouldn't what? What do you have? Mm -hmm. She wouldn't, she wouldn't. Uh, she would not like to cook tonight. 
Okay, interesting. Number six, what do you have? Would you like to make an invitation to somebody? Would you like to what? Would you like to dance rock and roll? With me? Would you like to dance <laughs> rock and roll with me? Okay, sounds yeah, interesting. Do you uh, do you like dancing? I I can't dance. I can't. I think Marlene has the flow. Yeah. Right, perreo. Yeah. Like reggaeton. Yo perreo sola. You see, you oh. see, you see. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> You see, nice. Any other ideas with your butterfly? With 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 her butterfly, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the butterfly is around. The bladder, the butterflies are in the air. Okay, uh, we finished today's class by writing. Para esto es una actividad. Pensemos en que eh, si un cliente les pidiera un reembolso. ¿Qué harían? Porque el servicio está malo. ¿Qué harían ustedes? What would you do? Escribamos un texto sobre eso. Entre más usemos el would, the best, the best, the better. So write a five line paragraph about what you would do. ¿Qué haría en caso, in case a customer wants a refund debido a, due to, a bad service? Un servicio malo o a or bad product. ¿Qué pagó? ¿verdad? that he or she paid. Uh, what would you do? Como un buen empleado, como un buen uh, agent, what would you do? Would you help? Would you, would you not help? Wouldn't you help? So let's take uh, only five minutes because time really flies. Please start writing. Empezamos a escribir ahí in your manuals.
Okay, I don't know if you are about to finish, you already finished or you need more time. I think you need more time, nobody says anything. Let's say one or two more minutes, please. And then we're going to share. Let's see, if you haven't written, if you haven't finished writing the five line paragraph, maybe you have two or three, it's okay. But I want you to share, okay, your lines with somebody, okay? So let's see, do me a favor, please um, use your reactions. And if you finish, please, uh, Show me a thumbs up like this. If it, okay, good. Thank you, Marlene. Only Marlene finished. <laughs> Thank you. Only Marlene and myself because we have the thumbs up. So who else finished? Let's see. Ray, Narciso, Herson, Idalia, Judy finished. Not yet. No. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Okay, JC. Thank you so much. You finished. Good. Let's see, while the others are finishing, maybe we can listen to the ones who already finished. What do you think, Marlene? Please share your ideas. Okay. In my case, to my customer, I will, I will do a report about the product. Then I will call when it's a probate and I will change the valve product. Usually, I, I would like to help for everyone when they are dissatisfied. When they are dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. Dissatisfied, dissatisfied. Okay, uh, there was one word you said when they are, uh, can you read the second, the second sentence, uh, Marlene, please? And I will call when it's approved. Approve, and I, I would change the the uh, when it, when it is a proven. What is that word? Proven. Uh, aprobado. Aprobado. Ah, approved. When it's approved, <laughs> approved, like this. When it's approved, approved. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Approved. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you so much. JC, read yours, please. JC. Okay, teacher. In my case, it's a bad service, and uh, I will say uh, sorry for in the convenience. Um, I will change the product. And change the product and a discount a discount a discount for for the product 
discount. Uh, okay, good. And another, um, I could free uh -huh. the product. Ah, you would get the product for free. Like gratis. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Yes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> a free pizza. Hey, I like I like the um the first <laughs> say, step you said. I will say sorry. I will apologize. I will say excuse me. Eso es importante. Okay, good. Thank you for for that. Okay, interesting. Um, me gustaría escuchar una persona más. Cristina, please. Okay. Do to company politics. We cannot give you a phone, hmm? but we can offer you other solution to your problem source as maintenance or extend the warranty for one more year after the repair. Only Interesting. That. I like the alternate solution. Okay. O sea, que un crédito, un re reembolso no es siempre la solución. Vean lo que dice Cristina. Eh, para decir política, digamos, policies. Esas son las más policies. Due to the company policies. Bueno, es porque me dijo politics. Um, we cannot give you a refund, pero sí le damos esta opción. I like that. I like that. So, thank you so much. Mañana me comparten los que quedaron pendientes, please, because I want to hear you guys. Eh, let me check the attendance, because we only have two minutes left, okay? Um, so thank you so much, guys, once again, for your participation, for having your cameras on all the time. That, that says a lot about you when it comes to your commitment. So thank you so much for that. Let's see. Uh, today is October 31st, last day of October. <laughs> no, August 31st. Yeah. No. This, is the, <laughs> this is the last day of August. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about Holly, Halloween, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ángel Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Ángel. Good night. Good night, Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Daniel. Mr. Luna. Thank you, Elsie. Present. Thank you, Gabriela. Herson. Present. Thank you, Jose Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you, JC. No. Present teacher. Ruben. Hello, Ruben. No, Ruben didn't make it, right? JC is here. Linda. Linda didn't make it either. Wow. Uh, Maria Idalia. Present. Thank you, Maria Julia. No, Marlene. Present. Marvin. Present. Thank you. Uh, Norma. Norma. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rafa. I'm right here, teacher. Good. Raquel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ray. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ray. Xiomara. And Judy. Well, thank you guys so much Present. for your time thank you judy uh enjoy the rest of your day try to rest and see you tomorrow please and complete the activities complete okay. the listening good night. bye bye okay. good night everyone good night guys good night. bye bye good night everyone bye good night good night bye bye teacher yes jc hoy me toca a mí and let me check that's what i'm doing okay let me see uh -huh. you can stay of course you can stay uh so okay. se puede ya se quedó quede se nos dejaron solito según la según los días y la lista creo que se toca por eso sí qué tal pues okay. sí qué me cuenta qué preguntas tiene qué comentarios tiene cómo podemos ayudarle pues yo digo que, que dentro de lo que cabe vamos bien, teacher, algunas eh, algunas cuestiones que quizás 
Uh -huh. Yo le entiendo a veces lo que es eh, un poquito la gramática, como uh -huh. a veces estructurado, lo que me cuesta es unir las ideas, uh -huh. eh, hablarlo, eh, uh -huh. expresarme, eso es lo que, lo, lo que yo siento que, que a veces uh -huh. no, no logro unir las oraciones, o, si usted se ha fijado a veces, eh, usted me corrige cuando de repente va un two, un four, o... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O, por ejemplo, agregarle el ING. Uh -huh. Eso uh -huh. siento yo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No sé usted qué es el que está del otro lado y es el evaluador, si está bien uh -huh. lo correcto, o uh -huh. me puede decir, no, tal vez le falta esto, esto uh -huh. y esto, todo. <risa> <risa> está bueno. No, pues en realidad lo que, lo que está este, mencionando... Ese es porque usted ya está en otro nivel, ya no está en básico, básico, porque ya se da cuenta de que de repente ya falta un tú, de repente, este, quizás un verbo en ING, lo que se está mencionando. Entonces, este, en realidad, para tener una gramática perfecta, eh, la, o sea, la gramática perfecta o la gramática estructurada, ya sí, como usted lo dice, sí es necesario para que el mensaje fluya de forma natural, ¿verdad? Entonces, se va a aprender, como dice que según le entiendo de que es la parte o la debilidad suya, mi recomendación es estudiarla más en contextos. Por ejemplo, yo sé que aquí nosotros les damos, el libro también tiene esa, 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 esa tendencia o esa metodología a dar estructuras. Entonces, pero mi recomendación es usarla más en conversaciones, porque ahí se va a ir quedando más. Es como más, más contextualizado. Y este, no se preocupe porque de repente le, me faltó el tú y ahora sí se lo pongo porque eso poquito a poco se va a ir agregando. Se va a dar cuenta cuando lo va diciendo que ha cometido un error y de repente ya va, ya va, ya va a fluir. Entonces yo más creo, y es lo que le quiero decir, es que eh, no importa si faltaba un tú o, 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 o le puse un tú de más, usted dígalo así. No, no le dé miedo a lo voy a decirlo así, porque de repente este, esos errores mínimos ya o sea, se van corrigiendo en el camino. Pero quizás a veces cuando noten por la misma pena o el miedo a que ese sea un error no se dice, eso va... Este, tomando más tiempo para que se vaya uno corrigiendo. O sea, eso, eso afecta en el sentido de que puede tardar más para aprender, entonces, o, o lo puede frustrar. Entonces, mi sugerencia es, si ya sabemos que hay detallitos como esos que cabe mencionar, no, hombre, siempre, de, usted hable, usted hable. Si sí, yo tenía un amigo que trabajaba en Teleperformance, donde yo trabajé un buen rato, que él hablaba hasta por los ojos, hasta por los ojos y todos los lados, pero cometí un montón de errores, sí. Yo lo escuchaba hablar a él, no sé si les he contado a ustedes, ¿vale? de que él hablaba un montón y cometía tantos errores, pero trabajaba en un call center y una cuenta full inglés, pero era porque él hablaba, hablaba, hablaba y el cliente entendía, lógicamente, si falta un tú o le puse una S de más, el mensaje se transmite. Por ejemplo, yo le voy a decir algo. One, one eat pupusas. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué dije? Yo no le dije, eh, ni siquiera dije, I want to I eat want. pupusas. Ni siquiera, mire, mm -hmm. yo, yo lo dije, want eat pupusas. Solo mencioné tres palabras, want eat pero pupusas. Le, sí, usted pero me, lo entendí. Usted me entendió que quiero comer pupusas, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Pero no, no dije, I want to eat pupusas. Pero en sí, las ideas se transmiten con el juego de palabras. Entonces, esos vínculos cortitos o pequeños que faltan agregar al idioma, van a ir poco a poco agregándose. Entonces, a manera de conclusión, esas ideas que tenga, let them flow, déjelas que fluyan, déjelas que vayan. Y usted hable, 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 porque de eso, de eso se trata. Entonces, este, yo tenía una, no sé si estaba en ese grupo usted, cuando había una persona que trabajaba en el de Cameron, no estaba aquí en ese grupo, no. No, creo que no. Ah, pues fue de los primeros niveles, de que al principio no quería hablar. Al final estaba hablando y, y cometí un montón de errores, la verdad. Pero mire, esa, esa parte de, esa, de no tener el miedo, lo, le, le ayudaba bastante. Porque de repente se comunicaba bien, ya no tenía miedo de equivocarse. Entonces yo eso le invito a usted. Primero, este, de, de, tome ese tiempo para leer un poquito más el manual. Eh, sacar las estructuras, tener su, sus preguntas puntuales. Y... Imite, imite muchísimo. La imitación es una, es una estrategia recomendada para nosotros que estamos en un ambiente donde no se habla el idioma. Cuando veo una expresión que alguien la dice, 
de a un americano o una persona que hable el inglés súper bien, imítelas. Esas expresiones, hágalas parte de su, de, su, de su lenguaje, de sus expresiones diarias y eso va a ir ayudando. Este, eso en cuanto a lo que menciona, yo no sé si tendría alguna pregunta de, del contenido que hemos estudiado o de las actividades que han tenido asignadas para la semana, porque ya mañana pues tenemos el examen medio. El... No, fíjate que, que yo siento que, 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 que está muy bien, pese de que ayer no, no estuve en la clase, no, no siento que me haya costado tanto el good, eh, el good end, porque, como les repito, más o menos las estructuras solo medio empecé a ver y, y ya, ya me, se ubicó. medio me, me ubiqué, ¿verdad? por eso que los primeros veces no, no intervenía, pero después cuando ya fui agarrando el hilo de los demás compañeros, Ajá. ya me ubiqué un poquito, o sea, bueno. siento que que no mucho me cuesta en ese sentido. Lo que Vaya. me cuesta es eso, expresarme. Vaya, pero démosle, démosle con todo. Todos tienen que... You, you will shine, van a brillar, pero esa, eso va a ser posible. Primero, quitémonos ese temor a equivocarnos. Creo que es una de las cosas que tenemos que entender que más impactan, porque a veces el miedo, no, me va a equivocar o, o no me va a entender, eso quitemos. Aquí estamos en un ambiente de aprendizaje y es parte de... Entonces, este, este sí, espacio y sí que sea para que ustedes se equivoquen y hay que equivocarnos. Hay que equivocarnos un montón de veces aquí. ¿verdad? Así que este, cualquier duda o pregunta, pues estamos a la orden, y sí y mañana pues hacen el examen medio y pues, ojalá que todo les vaya súper bien con ese examen. Ok, teacher. Gracias. Bueno, pues entonces, take care. Have a good night. Have a good night, teacher. See you, you. tomorrow. See you tomorrow.